for dinner tonight is a recipe of my mom's from her childhood. This is my mom, Elsa's favorite fish. <clears throat> I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees because our fish is going to finish cooking off in the oven. I've started the sauce for our fish by combining a teaspoon of fennel seeds, four scallions, and a large handful of Italian flat leaf parsley. I cooked that up in a little bit of EVOO, and now we're going to build our simple tomato sauce for our fish to cook very gently in. This is four big, beautiful pieces of cod, or you could use haddock. <clears throat> now we're going to hit the pan with a little bit of white wine. Nice dry white wine. We'll let that cook out a little bit. And as that cooks off and reduces a little bit, of course, most of the alcohol burns away and the flavor intensifies and gives you a really nice tang in the background of your sauce. Together with that, you could use a little shot of seafood stock, which they have in the markets now, right near the chicken stock and the vegetable stock and all that. Or my mom always uses just a splash of clam juice. So you can use one small can of diced tomatoes or any tomato product that you have in the pantry. Stewed tomatoes, tomato sauce, whatever you have on hand. A little tomato action going on. There we go, our wine's cooked down a bit. Now we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of our clam juice, our tomatoes. We're gonna season up our sauce. We're gonna drop these big, beautiful pieces of cod. My mom always asks the guy for the nice, thick pieces too. She'll trim off the little tail pieces and use that. If it's a little bit longer and it gets thin on the edges, she'll trim that away and use that in a little seafood stew or seafood pasta sauce. She likes the nice, thick pieces for entree. Now at this point, we cover the pan with some foil. I've got some water coming up to a boil too, my mommy. She's just like me, and I'm just like her. We always gotta have a side of pasta with whatever we're eating. <laughs> so you cover this with a little foil, or if you have a nice Dutch oven or big deep skillet at home that has a lid on it, just pop the lid on. And we're gonna transfer it into a 350 oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till the fish cooks all the way through. Then we're gonna finish off that sauce, don't forget, with some balsamic vinegar, a nice aged balsamic vinegar, just a little drop at the end, and some basil and a little bit of cream. Oh, so good! Uh, we're gonna thicken up that sauce with a little combination of softened butter and flour. My mom uses three tablespoons of softened butter to two tablespoons of flour, and she mashes that together so when the fish comes out of the oven and all of the fish juices have combined with the sauce, she thickens it up by stirring this in and kind of letting it do its thing. Now, once you bring your water up to a boil for your pasta, you can use a nice fresh pasta if you want to do it last minute. You could do some little bow ties. You don't need pasta at all with this. You could just serve a quick cooking couscous or just a nice piece of crusty bread. That's fine. I've got that combined. Um, but whatever you're cooking, if you're cooking up a pasta, remember to salt the water. It's the only chance you get to flavor the pasta itself. And my friend Mario told me once, it should be like seawater. And he put in like half a bowl of salt. So I, I've been a little more liberal seasoning my water since then. I mean, if, if Mario Batali doesn't know, who would, right? So I've got a nice thick cut tagliatelle here. Drop that down in. Linguini, pappardelle, fettuccine, they're all nice for this. Now we're working on finishing off the sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Scallions, a little fennel seed. Now I'm stirring in a little bit, a couple tablespoons of uh, butter and flour mixed together, a tablespoon or so of, of flour, two tablespoons of butter. And then my mom says my grandpa used to pour in just a touch of his aged balsamic, just a little drizzle of aged balsamic vinegar down over the top. And then there's everything but the kitchen sink in this one, but it's so good. And then a little bit of cream around the pan to blush the sauce. I know. It's this pink, delicious, creamy, fabulous, disgustingly good, no words for it thing. And then it gets even better with basil. I know. <laughs> I 
Now, I drained off the pasta over the break. I've got a nice tagliatelle over there. Here's what we do. Take a little bit of the fish, I mean, take a little bit of the sauce, spoon it down over the fish. A little extra green up on top, boop. Then, take your pasta and toss it with the rest of your sauce. You hear that, Mom? They love it. And you pile up delicious mound of that beautiful tagliatelle with our beautiful pink sauce alongside. <laughs> Kids, are you kidding me? I love you, Mom. I love being your kid and eating food that good my whole life.